Hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and we are back with Fishing Planet. We are at the Woody Enchantment portion of the North Carolina map at Naharan River. And this is probably the place where most people catch the largemouth bass, at least that I've spoken to. And if you really want to be able to find some trophies, this is probably the best spot. But the prime location is actually right over here by these stick-ups. And we're going to use an assortment of different types of lures. Now, probably the most efficient one for when you're first starting out is the silver or gold spoons. Now, I'm going to be using, let's see here, I'm going to start with the gold spoon. And I think I'm going to go ahead with a half ounce. And if you're wondering why I'm not using the 1 6 or 1 3rd ounce, that's because for some reason right here there's a lot of chance of getting snags. And the poles that are used right here you can end up damaging really easily. I mean you could try it, but for this particular video I'd rather not. Because <laughs> I have lost too many of them doing it that way. Alright, let me find the right rod here. It's the third one, I think. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, the main areas to fish is right either through here or over here. And I usually go back and forth. Now, you can fish over in this area, but probably the majority of the time you end up getting smallmouth. The largemouth tend to stay in this general vicinity. So, we're going to try right here. we'll start with this gold one and if the gold one doesn't do too well we'll go with the silver but usually on cloudy days gold does a little bit better now, I'm gonna really take this tension down because I have been getting a few of them there we go we got one now and I'll raise up the tension accordingly didn't take us very long, so apparently they are going for the gold. Alright, we can raise the tension up just a little bit more. Really wouldn't push it any more than that right now, though. Right, let's get this guy in. Let's take a look at him. Whoops. Do not let that tension get down, guys, or he'll get off that hook. He will get off the hook, big as you please. There we go. That's a nice one, actually. For he, He's not a trophy, but he's still a decent size. Very nice fish. Alright, let's try see if we can't get us a little bit bigger one. So, instead of the half ounce, we're going to go with the three quarter ounce. See if we can't catch us a bigger fish. Yeah, it's been a little while since I've recorded anything because, at least recently, because I've been having some issues with my teeth, guys. Something that kind of happens when you get older. <laughs> anyway, I had to have a tooth pulled. Yeah, see the snags? That's why I don't want to... use that lighter rod, those lighter rods. Let's see if we can't get this guy to come out. Now, we might need to do this a few times, so... I might pause it so that I can cast it a few times until I get something to latch on because it's not going to happen as often. The littler guys, well, maybe not. <laughs> what? No, he's still on there. What are they? What are they talking about? The strike timed out. Well, that definitely is a bug. I've got, there's a fish right there. <laughs> I 
I don't know. Who knows? There's still some glitches in this game. I did catch a fish, even though it acted like I lost it. All right, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to switch over to the... what they call the Red Devil. We're going to go with the half ounce to start. Let's see what we can do with this guy. This is, as I've said in many of my episodes, what my good friend Delacaba, aka Kachi, calls Weapon X. It seems like they do go for this a little bit better on sunny days, but usually they go for it just about any time. There we go, see what I mean? Just a few too many times. I think this is a regular bass here. Yeah. No, it's a smallmouth. <laughs> well, you might occasionally get those around here too. Not as often, but they are there. And they do go for the same bait, so... Same lure, I mean. Let's upsize this guy a little bit. Maybe that'll give us a little more of a chance of getting the big, large mouths. Yeah, you know, three odd hook is a little easier for a large mouth to take than a small mouth. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Uh, don't think it's trophy material, but we'll see. This might be a new small mouth. Nope, it's a large mouth. So I'm gonna go to a different jig. This one I tend to have a lot more luck with. That's the blue bass jig. Okay, that one's too heavy for this particular run. We'll put it on this one. Switch over. Now this one I've often heard referred to as Weapon Y when it comes to bass fishing. And usually I do a lot better with this one, but then I usually use it more often. <laughs> We'll see just if it lives up to its name. The other thing, too, is we might be getting a little late in the day for them to be going for it as much. So I might have to advance time a little bit. We'll give it one more try and then we'll go ahead and advance time. Yeah, I'm starting to think this may be a little late in the day. We're going to advance time to the next day. Go to 5 a.m. first, see if it's a sunny day. Now that's going to change everything if it's sunny. And it is. So this is going to change everything. This will probably increase our odds catching some trophy bass. Let's see what's the best time for that. Let's see. Probably right about 6 a.m. Let's go ahead and advance it one more hour. And let's see if these guys are interested in this now. There we go. There 
we go. I think we got us a regular size one, but still, we we're definitely getting some bites now. Come on, we want to get us a big one. No, they're in there somewhere. There we go, guys. All right, I don't know if this is a regular size one or... S yeah, I think it's a regular size one. Haven't had a whole lot of luck with the trophies this time. Decent size, though. Over three pounds. Well, maybe we'll have a little bit of luck with uh, if we use the crankbait. Since I found it. <laughs> Here it is. Too light. Alright guys, we're going to give us another shot here, and with this three-foot crankbait, crawfish colored, and as I've done on some of the other maps, you can do a slow reel it in, but you can also do a stop and go. It seems like I have a little bit more luck with the stop and go at this particular site. There we go. Okay, we are... God bless it. That is another big fish. <sighs> wow. He snapped that in a heartbeat. Fine. Alright, we're going to try this again, because apparently, whatever that was that went after it, was a big fish. <laughs> This is a little bit stronger rod. And I've got the tension way down. I can always adjust it accordingly. It's happened to be quite a few times since the update fish will hit it and it'll be so strong that it just snaps the line before you even get a chance. <laughs> that was interesting. I was acting like something was after it. There we go. Okay, we're going to add a little bit more tension to this. I think this is just a regular size one. Yeah. Just a regular one. Even so, we are not taking chances with that drag. Try closer to those lily pads, see if anything happens over there. For some reason we've been having a little bit of lag issues with this, so I had to jump out of here real quick and give it another shot at setting it up. I'm definitely bringing this tension down. If I don't land anything as far as trophy size here in a s after a few tries, I think I'm going to take it to evening, because I will say this much. It seems like they're more prevalent in the afternoons than they are in the mornings anyway. So are the snags. <laughs> well, something bit it. See what I mean? I've been having a lot of that. Getting a lot of bites, and none of them are connecting. 
All right, let's do that. What's the prime time, guys? Prime time... Oh, it's cloudy, so it doesn't really matter. Well, that's weird. When I logged out and logged back in, it became a cloudy day. Well, no wonder things aren't biting. Let's get to 12 p.m. Now we'll probably get a little more action. that time. This might be a small mouth, as close as it was. No, there's our trophy. Trophy largemouth bass, guys. Finally, we got him. Yeah, I told you. Sometimes you just have to be a little patient. He is a pretty, pretty fish. Let's see if we can get us a little bit... Yeah, there we go. Get him in the light here. Pretty fish, pretty fish. Let's see if we can get one more. Go over, try right over here. See that log right there? If I can get right next to there. We'll stop and go action here. be the last one for this particular episode and get this little guy in. I don't think he's a trophy, but still decent size one. We'll go ahead and keep him. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. And I will honestly say I have tried everywhere around here. Those are the only places I've really caught these guys. Uh, if you fish over here... Most of the time you're going to end up landing small mouths. So, anyway guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.